We're less than 48 hours away from the 36th Marathon LPGA Classic. This year's field is set. Danielle Kang back to defend her title, one of six former champions in the tournament, including 2018 winner Jasmine Suwanapura and In Kyung Kim, who won in 2017. Paula Kramer, the 20, 2008 champ, is back as well. Play begins Thursday morning, giving players one more day to prepare for a stop that many on the tour look forward to every year. I love being here and it feels a lot like home where I grew up so it's really nice feeling and the fans are always so great here so I'm looking forward to teeing up on Thursday. Yeah I've had a couple of really good finishes here um, you know I think my game suits this course um, you know you have to be pretty accurate with your long game and um, yeah I had a couple of really good rounds last year so it's some good memories heading into this year. Oh my gosh it is a beautiful course it's Got to be one of my favorites. It's so gorgeous. Um, and I'm just also blown away by how awesome the people are here. They're just so welcoming. They've just been some of the sweetest people, the most welcome I've ever felt at a tournament. So I have a feeling this is going to be one of my favorite stops when I'm on the LVGA. I am so happy to have the fans back. Uh, golf's not the same without fans. When, they, when everybody asked when we didn't have fans, uh, do you see any difference? And I said, you know, it is what it is right now. And I didn't realize the intensity and the, the excitement that fans brought. I was, when I, the whole last months of, I don't know how many months that we didn't have fans for, but it, it felt, I didn't know what I was missing until they came back. And now that we have them back, I, I want them to stay and come and come watch and be excited and cheerful. And when I hit a good shot, people clap. I mean, we're at the end of the day, we're entertainers and we want to perform in front of a gallery and in front of fans. So um, I'm really, really happy that they're back. And uh, hopefully, you know, even for Solheim, I'm really excited to see uh, what the city of Toledo is going to bring. When we didn't have fans, um, I really missed it. You know, the adrenaline, the energy on the first tee, energy after you make a birdie. Um, I love having their applause and having them cheer for me. So hopefully there's lots that come out this weekend and hopefully I can play well for them. With fans returning to Highland Meadows, so do the grandstands, which should help the players and keep scoring low this year. Yeah, generally, um, when the bleachers are missing and the towers, um, you miss them because you use them for lines off tees a lot of the time. Um, so it made it more difficult, but I'm happy they're back and I'm happy, hopefully they'll be full. The shadow of the Solheim Cup looms large and the Marathon Classic is embracing it. But before Labor Day weekend, there will be another major international golf event, the Tokyo Olympics. Today, Jody ewart Shadoff, who finished tied for second at Highland Meadows a year ago, learned she will represent Great Britain in the Olympics early in August. A bit of a shock, but a huge honor. Like, um, I can't tell you how excited I am to represent Team GB in the Olympics. Um, it's been a goal of mine for the last, you know, five or six years to go to the Olympics and represent um, the Union Jack there and, you know, try and win some medals for um, Great Britain. So, yeah, it's quite the honor. The Olympics is something that I dream about all my life, so I think that'll be that it's just going to be something that I, I can't even put into words yet because I haven't been. But after that, I think I have another event to be really excited about, which is the Solheim. So we just got a big year ahead. I got to go defend my title. I got a team event. I've got another major, then the Olympics, and then the Solheim. I think that will be my cutoff for then. And then that just, Solheim will be my ultimate just you know, I gotta make it till here. Yeah, obviously Solheim is always um, in the back of my mind. It's always on top of um, my goals for each year and, um, you know, to have the opportunity to play for Beanie and um, Europe again would obviously be a massive honor. So it's, it's still something that I'm like striving for and trying to play towards. And, you know, if it happens, it happens.